Hey, saya Tania, host dari podcast Janda Bercanda, channel khusus yang didedikasikan untuk kesejahteraan para janda. Hal-hal yang berhubungan dengan personal development, mental health, single parenting, dan female partnership. Tamu kali ini adalah seorang teenager istimewa yang walau belia mempunyai pengalaman unik. Dari berbicara dengan singkat dengannya, saya bisa mendapatkan gambaran bahwa dia dibesarkan dari sebuah keluarga yang mengutamakan pentingnya kedermaan dan menghargai sesama. Dia, saya bisa membayangkan bahwa dia itu ditanamkan dari sejak kecil pentingnya untuk kerja sukarela. Salah satunya adalah acara yang dia datangi yang di yang di acara yang diadakan oleh potats yaitu perkumpulan orang tua uh, anak Down syndrome. Nah dari acara itu dia bertemu dengan anak-anak Down syndrome yang melukis dan berkarya dan dia terinspirasi untuk menggunakan desainnya itu untuk dijadikan tas, gelas mug um, dan kipas. Sekarang itu dijual di toko-toko online dan juga di Sogo di Jakarta. Um, Ini saking hebatnya dia ini sampai dia idenya berubah menjadi sebuah yayasan. Yayasannya ini juga dikelola oleh sukarelawan. Ini behind the scenesnya ya, dikelola oleh sukarelawan lainnya dan semua profit penjualannya ini disumbangkan ke Potats. Ini baru masih SMA lo, luar biasa deh. Mas semangatnya tuh tinggi banget. Dan kenapa penting nih spotlightnya daripada yayasan ini dan potats karena mungkin listenersnya janda bercanda ingat bahwa anak sulung saya putra sulung saya itu juga anak dengan Down syndrome. Jadi sangat terharu kalau saya saya tahu bahwa ada resources seperti ini dan ada banyak orang yang peduli dan di dunia itu banyak sekali kasih sayang. Teman-teman kalau seandainya suka dengan konten yang ada di podcast janda bercanda. Tolong dong di subscribe, di like, di follow. Dan kalau ada masukan untuk episode berikutnya, bisa di DM di IG-nya Janda Bercanda ya. Oke, yuk kita dengerin wawancaranya. Without further ado, I present to you, Karis May. It's a real... treat for me to be able to have you on the show because as we've had this discussion earlier on our Instagram that's how we connected was through yes. Instagram <laughs> um, mm-hmm. and I told you that I'm a mother of uh, a child with Down syndrome so this is, is super uh, important to me to be able to have this chance to speak with you and um, so Your foundation is called Cares Cares. Yes. Correct. And I'm just going to jump right into it. And Cares <laughs> Cares is a foundation that um, helps focus uh, and raise awareness for children with Down syndrome. Yes. And you are you are 17 years old today, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Correct. And you started when you were age how old? I was 14, but I started thinking about it when I was um 13-ish. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, that's a very a very young age to have sort of that awareness. Um, how Do you have any relatives or any family members with Downs? Or? So I personally do not have, but it started from like this event where, so I've always knew about like friends with Down syndrome. I had, you know, friends, um, like the inner community, I was kind of already embraced in it. Um, there was mm-hmm. a yayasan called Potats, Persatuan Orang Tua Anak Down Syndrome. And personally, my mom was the one who um, kind of connect was the bridge to connecting me to the organization because she herself has done some projects, you know, to empower okay. our friends with Down Syndrome. And so that is how I first kind of was introduced into that world. And I am so grateful I was. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. It sounds like it's a it's a very rewarding experience. Obviously, it has gained a lot of momentum since um, those first few years, I suppose, because you have recently been awarded the Princess Diana Awards. 
Thank you so much. Yes. Amazing. Uh, Tell everyone, what is the Princess Diana Awards? What is it? So the Princess Diana Award is an award that recognizes youth for their humanitarian action. And I think humanitarian is kind of like a big terminology that we can break down. So basically, it awards um, young change makers who are aspiring to help elevate and you know mobilize change in their own respective communities so it's not only in a certain domain for example you could help um, underprivileged kids in terms of nutrition providing clean water hygienic or raising awareness about you know mental health or in my respective case it's raising awareness and breaking the stigma surrounding down syndrome especially in indonesia mm -hmm. and so yeah the diana award is just continuing the legacy that princess diana aka we know it as like the princes of the people right um she used her position to not only like be that princess that we see in like cartoons you know cinderella or Belle, like mm -hmm. just being in the castle or waiting for like quite cliche but waiting for a prince to like save her but instead she really used and leveraged her position and opportunity to create change and yeah and you know how we we know that iconic image of her hugging a kid with AIDS and I think that just shows how much we can use like the opportunity and the life that we've been blessed to you know like pass it onwards to people and so basically um in an essence that that is what the Diana Award represents and acknowledges and that's a, a worldwide um award obviously so you're you're this year's uh, recipient of the Princess Diana Award is that correct Yes. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. So I can't think of a better person to have merited such an award. So congratulations once again. Thank you for so that. much. That is that. It, yeah, you know, for most people, that could be a lifetime achievement, and you have that at the beginning of your life, which is you're just seventeen. So you know, the world's your oyster. Obviously. No. <laughs> what can't you do? What can't you do? So No, I always say that it's not my award. I don't think it's and I know it's not for Karis Maharja, but it's for, you know, Karis Cares and what we represent, which is it's represent this award is representative of every single friend with Down syndrome. You know, all the beautiful like spirited soul out there. I love your I know we just saw a picture of your son and it's so cute. Liam is so cute. And that is what I want. Want to show to the world you know we don't have to put a label on them i think down syndrome is just right. like an arbitrary love a uh, label that people put but i don't mm -hmm. I, I think at first what made it really difficult for me to con conceptualize this whole down syndrome thing is because mm -hmm. i i don't know why you know we're, we're labeling it oh ito like you know that's a kid with down syndrome right. because they're inherently similar you know they're same with us i think they have the inherent right, right that every human deserve and was given um personally right. i think I think that way. And so just like, you know, uh, Auntie Tania, you have a name. I have a name. Karis, they also have names. And many of them are talented um, individuals. So I have um, here is how I found out about um, about Karis Cares is this is. Thank you so much. One of the collection. And I think the artist um, who designed this is. Bagas was it? Uh, that one is Duhita Rati. Oh, okay. So I my my purse is probably Bagas, um, which I don't have yes. right now, which is mm -hmm. one of my favorite mm -hmm. handbags. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so this Thank you beautiful so design um, hand fan. So in terms of legally, since I'm under 18, it's um, it's soon going to be YSN, but we definitely consider ourselves as an independent organization with a really strong partnership with Potats and not partnership in a just, you know, strictly legal way, but really just that communion and bond that we have with Potats because I have always looked up to what the ISN Potats does. I love how they create the support group for parents and for children to feel to have like this embodied safe space, right? This community, you know, in a world that could feel so el el like alienating. That's why um, I personally, I found, I've always looked up to Potas, but I also noticed that a lot of um, or organizations and activities that help support Down syndrome, um, 
it the sifat of it is very internal and so if you know about friends with down syndrome if you know about the activities they're doing it's quite easy to be motivated to join but for the people for the irrespective community that don't know yet about friends with down syndrome don't know how to contribute and the ones that you know are majority like holding these negative stigma these still you know they're not um, familiarized with our friends with Down syndrome yet. And so I think that was the whole principle of Cares Cares, which is to kind of expand the bubble and break it just from this like um, small Down syndrome community and us being that bridge that expands it. So the whole public can know, you know, through merchandises, they know that our friends with Down syndrome are really talented and their potential that is that that used to be untapped is now like being recognized. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, it's it certainly is not yet very common in Indonesia to have, um, let's say, a grown person with Down syndrome to have a job, for example. That's still that's still not something that you see very very often or even at all. Um, but even what you're doing now, which is wonderful, which is putting a spotlight of their artistic side, and by the way, when um, the lockdown is over, when PPKM is over, mm-hmm. you can walk into a, a Sogo in Plaza Senayan <laughs> and buy one of these. Yes. Uh, or you can order it on um, Instagram um, and contact Cares and Cares. And actually, you have a lot of volunteers for uh, Cares Cares. Talk to me more about that. How were you able to get... Obviously, you mentioned your mom earlier on was the one who introduced you to Potat. So your mother obviously has a lot of this spirit in her to help others that she's obviously passed that on to you, which is a beautiful thing. So, but tell me more about the volunteers of Cares Cares. Who are they? If anyone who's listening, how can they participate in Cares Cares? Mm -hmm. So yeah, out of everything that my parents can give me, I'm most grateful that they kind of inherited um, it to me, this kind of social spirit to know Kaya, to recognize that life is so much greater than ourselves. And we we create purpose in giving and sharing our lives with others. And so I think that that motto itself is what Cares Cares is all about and how I would love people to volunteer and participate. Mm -hmm. And so how um, others can get involved is maybe mainly um, through just creating like this uh, support group through um, the sales of our merchandise. And so why we say that is because um, Cares Cares uh, focuses on retail, right? On retail, but for social entrepreneurship. And so through the sales that people, you know, give to us, that people order through our merchandises, our line of merchandises, the entirety of the profit is given to Potats. And that is the core mission of how, if they want to help, you can. Because through that profit, Yayas and Potats, you know, they so responsibly they use it to help parents to support parents especially in this current covid pandemic i know it you know covid doesn't discriminate to any social class gender or any orientations but what they i think it affects everyone but it doesn't affect them equally. A lot of um, our friends with Down syndrome, especially their parents, because our friends with Down syndrome, they need more attention, especially, you know, with awareness. And not a lot of them can afford having like housekeepers and nannies. And so a lot of them have to kind of like quit their job and focus on the daughters and son. And for the daughters and some themselves, we have to recognize that they're not kids. Some of them are, but not all of them, you know, are. They're adults who are not given opportunities to have any career prospects and jobs. And that is a frontier that our government should, you know, continue to focus in providing these jobs. And so with this whole like dilemma and complex, the way we can mainly support is through the sales of Cares Cares, because we're not only empowering it, we're not only, you know, um, sharing a message that through your, I love how they say that your, I guess your money and what you purchase is a boat, because it is um, through purchasing, you're showing, you're not only showing that you're, you're caring, but it also pays forward this um, message and shares to people that, you know, we can support our friends with Down syndrome, we can help empower them just by bringing your tote uh, later after, for example, lockdown, 
bringing your tote bag to the mall, you, mm-hmm. you know, you're already spreading that message through your sales. And and then, like I said, monetarily, it is also donated to Potats to financially help them with their organizational structure, with, you yeah. know, with their other responsibilities. And what I love, and I'm really thankful for like Tanta Tanya and all the other customers is that you're not pitying them. And that is the most important thing. It's different to pity and to care because by pitying you're looking down at them you have this kind Mm -hmm. of inherent subconscious belief that you're better than them that they are something they have something to be pitied for right and so what I love about Cares Cares customers is that they truly buy it because of the quality of the merchandise and that intention That's to right. spread that awareness. And I love that. I love all the, especially there's so many repeat customers and I'm just so, you know, I haven't said it, but I'm so thankful that you've invited me here because we can continue to pass on the message. And yeah, I'm so thankful for your support. Tanta. Well, no problem. Of course I would do that. I mean, yeah. Can, can you imagine like for, Bagas and for was it, sorry Rati was it Rati yes for Rati and Bagas the fact that they have something that they painted something that they drew turned into a product turned into something that others want to share something they want to use every day um, everybody you know can say that you know, well done well done for being able to um, express yourself in that way and yes. having the channel to be recognized for that for their work really i mean it's if no one mentions that this was painted by somebody with downs it would still be a beautiful product mm-hmm. regardless and so that's just i think more the point of what you're trying to say is that don't be so quick to label someone because yes. that they have downs and Again, coming back to the um, social aspect of that is that, yes, you know, you have these organizations like POTAS that needs everyone's con- c- continuous support. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, the spectrum of um, e- of illness, if you want to call it illness in terms of um, uh, people with Downs, is that there's ones who are so mild to somebody who has congenital heart failure and who's born with a lot of um, genetic defects, and that takes an economic toll on every family. Um, obviously, most of the time, the parents, particularly the mothers, are having to stay at home. They cannot work jobs. They have to take care of full-time of, of any children with special needs. So that's what these organizations are for, and that's what's amazing about um, organizations like Potas, like Caris Cares, and there are many others out there. And if you're listening and you don't have to be young or old, look at Karis, right? She started when she's 13 or 14. You guys can do the same. Um, take inspiration from that. So you're an 11th grader, one more year of high school, and then what's next for you? I'd love to pursue so- sociology and come back to continue Karis Karis. Semoga suka dengan episode ini. Bisa dong tolong dibantu untuk di subscribe, di like. Jangan lupa ya. That makes all the difference. Okay. Terima kasih sudah mendengarkan. Goodbye for now. Have you subscribed yet? If you haven't, please do. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and share it with the ones you love. All right. See you in the next episode.